Do you see her? She is the SARMS girl from TikTok. She uses SARMS as a shortcut. For those of you saying, oh, it took me years to get where I am. Yeah, I don't want to wait that long. I'm impatient. And she's not the only one. In the last few years, hundreds of thousands of teens use SARMS, which builds muscle like steroids, enhances performance, and brings a lot of advantages in a short period of time. And all of that without any side effects. Are they safe to use? Yes, they are incredibly safe. Although, it's nonsense. The full science behind the worst trend teens can touch. Let's begin. What's up guys? Welcome to your fitness pal and do you see her? This is Ariana Grande. She says hi. She gets comments on her body all the time. Some of them in a scientific term are shit. It made such a strong impact on her that four months ago she uploaded a whole video to TikTok just on that topic. I think we should be gentler and less comfortable commenting on people's bodies no matter what. It became so viral that it reached 100 million views. Personally for me the body that you've been comparing my current body to was the unhealthiest version of my body. Now unfortunately you too can fall to the same peak. A lot of people tend to compare their body to the body of others and women almost two times more than men. Some people are more likely to compare their bodies to fitness models than supermodels or celebs. And the saddest part, young people who are exposed to fitness content and bow to the thin model can be linked with body dissatisfaction, appearance related anxiety and even the use of enhancing drugs. I didn't touch the stuff. I don't touch the stuff. Don't touch the stuff. Which brings us to the next topic, her. This is the SARMS girl that is on TikTok. I thought I'm a raging she also says hi. She shares her experience with SARMS. I just wanted to give you an update on my gain. She explains why she started using SARMS. Yeah, I don't want to wait that long. I'm impatient. Sorry. Yeah, no forgiveness. And she isn't the only one. There are a zillion teens and children on the internet who use SARMS and advertise themselves on TikTok. In fact, it has become so trendy and concerning that on TikTok, the place where about a third of the viewers can get into an elevator alone, they blocked the search. Meaning, if you open TikTok, which is a waste of time in itself, and you search for SARMS, there will be no results. But now comes the question, what are SARMs? So everybody knows about anabolic androgenic steroids. And if not the needle itself, we do know people who use them. What you see from the outside is that it helps build muscles and that's it, more or less. But let's delay on the more. Part. Steroids are not a selective substance. They have androgenic responses in our body. When it enters the body, it doesn't only act on the muscles, rather they can stimulate more stuff that we don't necessarily want to stimulate. Like the prostate. Nobody wants a bigger prostate. Also, no one wants to stimulate the scalp and lose hair or walk around with acne on their back. And this is why SARMs were created, to give an anabolic answer without all of the surroundings. See this sandwich? I put my SARMs on my sandwich. I'm about the hit the gym, be bigger than you, forever. This is why they called selective androgen receptor modulators. They're supposed to range from full agonists in muscles and bones to partial agonists or full antagonists in places like the prostate or in layman's terms to build our body only without the side effect. Which can also happen if you do this or this. But with SARMs, it's not the case. Do you see him? This guy used SARMs when he was 15. This is when I was 15. I started SARMs. He used the SARM called Red 140, which is considered very popular. But what happened to it? I don't know why, but around week six, I started getting this weird kidney pain. And when I was peeing, I was peeing brown. Yes, brown pee is a situation in which you should consider giving your doctor a call. According to a systematic review of safety of SARMs that was published this year, you can see that the brown pee repeats itself quite a bit as part of the side effects, and that was more pronounced in the SARM called LGD4033. One of the most popular SARMs that people use, and that's not all. In 15 studies, damage to the liver was shown, reductions in HDL, the good cholesterol, and for dessert, there were also studies that reported a decrease Increase in total testosterone levels. Now, because there is no regulation and you can find SARMs on the internet as easily as you can find the cloud of urine in a swimming pool, the quality of the products can potentially be quite trash. It's called Testolone. It's called Testolone. It's supposed to be like testosterone. Ba, 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 ba. In this study, out of 44 products sold as SARMs, there were actually SARMs in just half of them. 25% of products contained substances not listed on the label and 40% of them contained another unapproved drug. Now the SARMs are taken orally through the mouth, meaning it does not involve 
needles, therefore making the whole thing more available to teens compared to other PEDs. But there's a problem. On YouTube, there are a zillion trainers who want to make money selling shortcuts to teens. If you want to get jacked, hit me up. We actually sell these. And marketing some as substances without any side effects. Are they safe to yes. use? They are incredibly safe. They are incredibly safe. Yeah, we are also incredibly sure that he's wrong. In this study, they took 100 relevant videos about SARMs on YouTube and concluded that, on average, the content, quality, and credibility of all the videos were low. Guys, when I say SARMs are amazing, they're amazing. How do I know? I just know. That might cause teens to get excited and use it. Although the marketing itself is mostly false, you can actually stay on SARMs forever and have no negative side effects and not evidence-based. One last thing. SARMs are not approved by the FDA. B. The FDA are also not happy from the situation. That's why three months ago a warning was issued about the use of SARMs by teenagers. There was a list of side effects, some of which came from this study, with reports of mood swings, acne and testicular shrinkage. I mean, where is swollen nut when you need him? Hi! See, the WADA has banned the use of SARMs by athletes and that's why in a natural bodybuilding competition you can't use them. Now, last, last, last thing. In general, everyone can do whatever they want with their body. But today, so many teens and children are influenced by their appearance more than ever. They can find a lot of false dreams and shortcuts on the internet. You take those, you get bigger. I'm not even gonna lie. They're being manipulated more easily because they are young and impressionable. And this is very upsetting for us to see that from afar. Incredibly safe. Instead of giving them the tools to work smart with high quality and evidence-based and achieve a healthy body and results, slow and steady and not fast and furious. Now, not all of the SARMs were born equal. Even though they're all under the umbrella term of SARMs, each SARM has different effects. For example, in this study, more than 90% were satisfied with their SARMs usage. Some of them are also safer to use than others, some also cause fewer side effects, and some also help build more lean body mass than others. But they don't lack any side effects, and they're also not legal for human usage. To date, there is not enough evidence to say what are the long-term effects in terms of their efficacy and safety in humans. This is why we made this video, which is one of the most important that we've ever uploaded. And that's in order to raise awareness about the use of substances and false information online. But not everything that helps is worth the risk of what it brings. And that's important to understand. And no matter who you are, don't compare yourself to other fitness gurus on social media. Because not only that many pictures don't represent who they really are in real life, but it's possible that in real life they're also taking substances. Also, on that super important video, we worked above 60 hours and also more than 6 hours of filming as you can see the sun about to shine. What you can do for us is share this video with as many people as you can. Save a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell in order to get the latest and most updated videos. And we'll see you on the next video that will even be crazier than this one. Bye bye.